fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the Lone Ranger fought crime and criminals throughout the western United States. But he did more than bring law and order to a lawless frontier. The man who needed a fresh start in life could always count on the masked rider's help. And from the stories that have come down to us through the generations, we know that he was the greatest champion of justice in the history of the early West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're having a big fight! Hello, oh, Silver! Away! <laughs> Loungers in front of the cafe at Big Pine watched with interest while a well-dressed stranger tried to control his spirited horse. Whoa, killer. Whoa, there. Quiet down, bless you. Quiet. Whoa, killer. You having trouble, stranger? That's some horse you got there. Mean-looking critter, ain't he? Sure has got a powerful look about him. Need some help, mister? Uh, he's all right now. I can handle him. What was it you called your horse, stranger? Killer. Why? Oh, just <laughs> wondered. <laughs> kind of a funny name for a horse, ain't it? He's earned it. Yeah? Killed somebody, did he? He has. By the way, I'd advise you fellas to stay away from him. Get too close to him, there's likely to be trouble. I won't be responsible for anything that may happen. Hey, now, mister. You take us for a bunch of green horns? Think we don't savvy horses? Not this one, you don't. <laughs> Just what do you mean by that? This is a Montana horse. He doesn't like Texans. Where he comes from, he's used to men who know how to ride. Texans just irritate him. Hey. That sounded to me like something plain insulting. Yes? Just what's your handle, stranger? Palmer's my name. Well, Palmer, was you insinuating us Texans ain't the horsemen they are up Montana way? Uh, I thought that was well known. Well, I'll be switched. Now, look here, mister, you can't... Stay out of this heat. I'll handle this, smart Alec. All right, mister, suppose you explain yourself. Just where'd you get a fool notion like that? So it's a fool notion, huh? Well, I can prove it. How? Montana, there are a half dozen men who can ride killer here. Why, well, I've been in Texas almost six months and still haven't found anybody who can stay on top of them. What more proof do you want? You ain't found nobody to ride this horse? That's what I said, isn't it? By thunder, you got any objection to me trying? Don't be a fool, man. He'll cripple you. Stand aside. But I tell you, this so horse... So no Texan can ride the Twitter, huh? Well, I'm going to make you eat them words right now. That's talking, Sheriff. Show him he don't know what he's talking about. Ride that horse into the ground for him. Go ahead, Sheriff. Show him what riding really is. You bet I will. I'm warning you. Save your warnings for them as needs them. Stand still, you maverick. Here goes. Watch out! 
There he goes. Catch the horse before the sheriff's tribal. Hey, look at him rear up to get at him with his hooks. Catch him. Hold on to him. He's a killer for sure. Hey, see a killer. Whoa, fella, whoa. You all right, sheriff? You get hurt? Give me a hand, will you? Up with you. I'm sorry about this, sheriff, but I tried to warn you. The blaze is with your warning. I was through, but I'm still here to say that kid can be rude, even if I ain't the fella to do it. I ain't the best horseman around here, and I never claim to be. There's others that'll ride him, even if I can't. Anybody can talk big when he doesn't mean to back it up. Huh? Who's your best rider in this distance? Uh, the best rider? Why, uh, let me see. If you're looking for the best bronc buster around here, that's him coming this way right now. Why, Thunder, yes. Bill Stedman. Bill! Hi there, Bill! Want me, Sheriff? Come here. Well, what's up? Bill, here's a number that says Texans can't ride. I'm admitting this year horse of his just now fooled me. But I'm maintaining that don't prove nothing. Now, how's about it? You think you can do it? Well, <laughs> I'd be willing to try. Then climb into the saddle and show him. Sure, I'll just ride a second. Well? This isn't strictly fair. In the first place, my horse has carried me a long ways today. He's tired. In the second place, he's already thrown one of you. Of course he can be ridden if you're going to have one man after another try it until one of you stays on. Any horse would weaken in time. Then what's your notion of what's fair? How about postponing this until uh, tomorrow sometime? Say, tomorrow afternoon. That all right with you, Bill? Well, sure. Why not? And uh, how about making this interesting? In Montana, we're always willing to back up our opinions. Meaning just what? That I've got a thousand dollars that isn't doing anything just now. I'll wager all of it or any part of it that you care to cover on my horse. But, of course, if you haven't the courage of your conviction... Why, blast you. I'll take a hundred of that myself. Oh, I see. There, you hear that? Yeah. Mister, I reckon you're cold. Or how much? Put up your thousand and I'll guarantee every dollar of it will be covered. Good enough. And the time? Suit yourself. Any time you name is all right with us. Right now, if you say so. Very well. I've got some business to attend to, so the later in the day, the better. How about uh, five in the afternoon? Mm, Bill can make it. It's all right with me. I can be there. I suppose there'll be quite a crowd on hand to watch. <laughs> just everybody in town, mister. Then uh, how about holding this contest on those flats I noticed just south of town? Any objection? Well, that's the place I was going to suggest myself. I won't insist this man here has to make the ride. You're free to choose anyone you wish. If he's thrown, I win. If he rides killer, you win. There's no second chance for either side. Fair enough. By tonight, mister, I'll have you bet covered. And by tomorrow night, you're going to know there's at least one gent in Texas your horse came through. Word of the coming contest circulated throughout town, and the townspeople talked of nothing else. Tonto rode into Big Pine to purchase supplies heard the news and repeated it to his white friend when he returned that night to their well-hidden camp. You got look at this fellow who calls himself Palmer Tonto? Uh-huh. Me get good look. He's the same fellow who went under the name of Ridgeway at Center Springs, eh? That's right. And he must also be the same fellow who called himself Taylor that time over in New Mexico. That's right. I've been thinking back over those stories we heard, Kimasabi, and I'm glad we're here for the contest. Why, glad... I've got an idea that Palmer, or whatever his name is, is up to something more than winning bets. Uh -huh. He does the same thing wherever he goes. It's easy to get men into arguments about horses and their ability to ride them. And it's easy to mention bets and arrange a contest. That's right. From what I've heard, Palmer doesn't always win. He lost that time in New Mexico. But him win other times. Maybe he wins more often than he loses, I couldn't say. But I do know one thing. What that? Every time he staged one of these contests, there's been a holdup in town. Me not know that. And it didn't occur to me until I started thinking back. It's true, however. Why couldn't Palmer arrange these contests, not so much to win any bets that might be made, but to get everyone out of town to watch the contest? Oh, that'd be plenty smart. Yeah, that's what he does. Of course, those holdups may have been just coincidence, but I doubt it. A holdup every place he holds a contest is too much to blame on luck. And the fact that he changes his name each time makes it look as though he doesn't want to be traced. Ah. He always seems to travel alone, but that doesn't prove anything. He'd naturally not allow himself to be seen with the fellows who perform the actual robberies. 
That way, no one would ever think of connecting him up with the robbery unless they knew what had happened at the other places where he'd been. Ah. He's always careful to keep these contests spaced far enough apart, so there's little danger of that. You tell law? If the sheriff wouldn't believe me, I'd just be wasting my time. Ah. And if he did believe me, he'd simply call off the contest and tell Palmer to get out of town. After all, there's no proof against the fellow. Not right. No, Kimasabi, we'll say nothing. But if Palmer is a crook, we'll attend to him ourselves. The following morning, the cafe was crowded with townsmen and men from the range who had come to town to witness the contest. The lone ranger, without his mask but wearing a disguise, circulated among them, keeping watch on Palmer, who was a center of interest. You really think your horse can't be rolled, mister? You sure made a mistake when you bet again Bill Stedman. I've made my bet. I think that speaks plainly enough for the way I feel. <laughs> You'll be feeling a heap different tonight. Howdy, Palmer. Oh, hello, Sheriff. Your horse feeling frisky today? He's all right. <laughs> Too doggone bad for you that you didn't ask some questions around before you put up your cash so free and easy. <laughs> if you knowed a little more about Bill Stedman, maybe you wouldn't have wanted to bet. Yes. <laughs> Bill ain't only the best rider around Big Pine. He's one of the very best in the whole state. He's won more top honors at rodeos round and about than you can shake a stick at. That's interesting. <laughs> Thought you'd find it so. Nevertheless, I'm not backing out. Maybe Killer can be ridden by one of your men. I still doubt it, however. And even if I were convinced that he could be, the bet would stand. I don't renege. Well, neither do we. Alice, hey, what the uh, hell? Alice, Bill Stedman's been hurt. What's that you said? Come on outside. Stage just came in and some bum nearly walked in front of it. Bill twisted his back, throwing the fellow out of the way. Bill's right outside now. Well, I'll be blasted. Come on, man. Yeah. If Bill's hurt, that goes our thousand dollars. There ain't another ride around here half as good as Bill is. Shucks, if he can't ride, we might just as well give up. Wouldn't that just be our luck? Wonder how bad hurt Bill is. There he is. Uh, Bill, uh, did we get this straight? Did you go and hurt your back so you can't ride? Reckon I did, Sheriff. Back aches to beat glory. I'm just sitting here till the doc can come. Uh, but how in blazes did it happen? Uh, I guess it was my fault, Sheriff. Uh, who are you? Limpy's what they call me, Sheriff. A hobo, huh? Oh, I ain't no hobo. You I... got a job? No. You but... got cash? I'm flat broke just now, but I'm looking... If you're broke and you ain't got a job, then what do you call yourself if you ain't a bum? And just because Bill was fool enough to try to save your worthless hide, we're going to be out a $1,000. Oh, please, My I... thunder, I will not help you. But the... Oh, Sheriff, now, it weren't his fault. Shucks, he couldn't help it none. And I couldn't just stand by and watch him get run over. Why in blazes did you get in front of the stage? It, it was my leg, Sheriff. Huh? Well, it, it goes bad on me every once in a while. That's why they call me Limpy and... Well, it's why I ain't been able to get regular and work. So you had to choose a time like this for your fool leg to go bad on you again, huh? But honest, I didn't... Well, have... there goes the contest. We might just as well call the whole thing off. Which is just what I expected. Huh? I had you sized up as a bunch of cheap sports when I first came here. That's why? Because I remember when the bet was made, nothing was said about any one particular person making a ride. I told you you could choose anyone you wished. Even if the man you chose is injured, I don't see why the bet should be called off. Who said it was? You just now suggested Mister, that we... when a Texan makes a bargain, he keeps it. Neither one of us said we wanted to crawl out of it. We'll go through with it even if we do have to lose. Sheriff. Well, what do you want? I, I can ride. I'm a real good rider. You? You call yourself a horseman? I'm real good. Honest, I can... Fellas, look at what thinks he can ride a mean horse. <laughs> look at him. He can't hardly stand up. But he figures we ought to risk our thousand dollars on him. Oh, but please, if you just give me a chance to show you... Maybe I could make up for what I'd done. You said all this was my fault. And so it is. But you've done enough damage already. Then just let me... There's only one thing I'll let you do, and that's clear out of town. But I... Didn't you hear me? Get going before I jail you for being a vagrant. Go on. Get going and keep going. You ain't wanted in Big Pine, mister. All you mean to us is bad luck. You heard the sheriff. Now clear out. And pronto. Well, if you'd only give me a chance. You've got your chance. You better take it before we make you sorry. All right. Limpy. Mister, I didn't mean no harm. Honest, I didn't. I'm going if you want me to. But don't but... misunderstand me. You say you can ride? I can. I'm a real good rider. You want to prove it? I'll prove it. Sure, I will if you give me a chance. Then come with me. You'll get your chance. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes... 
Please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. It was at noon that Palmer borrowed a horse and rode out of town. He headed west until he was sure he had not been followed. Then he left the trail and rode toward a small woods in the distance. Twenty minutes later, he drew rein in a clearing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, oh, say, Buff. Yeah, we were just staying out of sight till we were sure it was you, boys. But we figured you ought to be coming along pretty soon. Everything's fixed. Uh, yeah. Uh, what time's it to be? At five o'clock. On the flats south of town. <laughs> and you can take my word for it, there won't be a man, woman, or child in town who can leave. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds all right. What have you got lined up for us? The office of the stage line. I understand there's bullion stored there, waiting for a special stage to leave tomorrow. We'll clean up plenty on this. The stage office, huh? That's just fine. At five o'clock, we take over. And now then, I'll have to be getting back. Boys, when we leave Big Pine, this will be one town that's stripped in the meantime, at the camp of the Lone Ranger and Tonto, not far distant, Limpy reined in Scout. Oh, Scout! Oh, 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 oh. Limpy, you weren't just boasting. You can ride. Uh, him ride heap good. <laughs> Yeah, I should be able to. I've worked around horses all my life. The scout has never permitted anybody to ride him before, unless Tyler was said it was all right. Well, I, I don't mind admitting he put up the best tussle I ever had with a horse, too. And if you'd asked me to ride that white horse of yours there, well, I ain't so sure about what I'd have had to back out. How does it happen that a man who can ride like you do can't hold a job? Well, you, you see, friend, it, it was a horse trampling me that gave me my bad leg. No? My home's over near the Brazos, at least the way it was. I had me a place of my own over there. Raised and sold nothing but horses. Then had a lot of tough luck and lost it. I don't like that nickname of yours. Limpy? Yes, what's your real name? Sam Bowers, friend. And as for the nickname, well, I don't care so much for it myself, but it don't do no good to get mad about things like that. Well, we'll call you Sam. Oh, thanks. You think you could ride that horse? Say, you sure don't think he's the equal to Scout here, do you? I know he's not. Then you just bet I can ride him, and without half trying, neither. Then you will. Huh? Oh, what the sheriff said, I, I know what the sheriff said, but that doesn't matter. Sam, you're not only going to ride that horse and win their bet for the townspeople, you're going to help catch some crooks as well. When Palmer had said that every man, woman, and child would be on hand for the contest that afternoon, he had not been exaggerating. By hinting that Texans were not the equal of other Westerners in horsemanship, Palmer had aroused the indignation of every resident of Big Pine and the surrounding countryside. Victory became to them a matter of personal pride. Long before five o'clock, they began making their way to the flats where the contest was to be held. And when the time approached, the place was crowded. Sheriff, where's the sheriff? Here I am. What do you want? You holding the stakes? Who I am? Any objection? None at all. I just wanted to clearly understood that I expect to be paid off as soon as your man has been thrown. You will be, mister, if he's thrown. Only don't be too doggone sure about that ahead of time. Maybe you'll get surprised. Stedman isn't riding, is he? No, but we got the next best fella. Where is he? Almost five now. I want this runoff exactly on time. He's right over there by your horse. 
Come along, I'll introduce you to him. Lead the way. Yeah, Judd. Yeah? This year's Palmer. He owns this horse you're going to ride. Palmer, meet up with Judd Tebbett. Howdy. How do you do? Think you can ride killer, huh? Suppose we get down to business. You can tell a heap better when I make my try than you can from any talker I could do. <laughs> well, perhaps you're right. But according to my watch, it's just five. Ready, are you? Just as ready as I'll ever be. Let's get at it. I'll hold killer while you're mounting. That's the only way you'd ever get in the saddle. And, uh... Yeah? Well, all I wanted to say is that you're doing this at your own risk. I don't expect to be held responsible if you're injured. Mister, don't you trouble to worry about me. None at all. Just grab that horse, hold on to I'm in the saddle, then get out of the way. Because the fur sure be flying. Stand back, folks. Make room so you won't be hurt. Judge ready to ride. Get way back, everybody. That's right. Now stay like that and don't get in the way. All right, Judge, you can get in the saddle. What's that? Well, I'll be switched. It's a masked man. A crook. Stand back. Make way for him. He's coming right here. Who's that in the saddle with him? Why, that hobo I told to leave town. Hey, rein up there and elevate your hands. Oh, 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 you'll do nothing. I'm the law here. This man's going to ride Palmer's horse. Sam, get out of the saddle. Yes, sure thing. Hey, Sheriff, what listen to me. This man can ride Palmer's horse. I'll guarantee it. He'll ride the horse and win your wages for you. Why, Thunder, you raise your hands like it was told. Where do you think you get off with any such nonsense? I'm not raising my hand. You... And don't slap leather. That's wrong. Run, move right. toward your holster again, and I shoot. Is that clear? You got me covered, but you ain't going to get away with this. I think I am. Hold on. Sheriff, I protest this. This fellow rides killer, the bets are off. I said... Yesterday, we... you were the first one to say the bet stood. When Stedman was injured, Palmer, the bets still stand, no matter who tries to ride your horse. How about it, Sheriff? Now, uh, look here, The masked man is right that much anyhow. You ain't going to get out of this, Palmer, no matter who rides your horse. I can't stop this fellow from trying it, so I don't intend to lose out if he can stick in the saddle. But no uh, arguments. You ready, Sam? Anytime you say. Then hold the horse for him, Palmer. You do can. as I say. I'll do it. But I still protest this. Hold still, boy. <laughs> Steady, fella. Steady. Into the saddle, Sam. <clears throat> I'm set. Let him loose. Right. <laughs> While Big Pine was almost deserted, Palmer's two confederates, Buff and Osage, reined up before the office of the stage line, dismounted, and walked up the steps to the door. We'll make this quick. Get the bullion, then make tracks. Right. But don't go for your gun till I do. Uh-huh. Afternoon, gents. Afternoon. <laughs> Didn't figure anybody would be calling here with all the doings outside town. What can I do for you? All alone here, are you? Yeah, but... And stick up your hands. And don't get no fool notions or we'll have to drill you. Hey, what the... Reach! This is a holdup. Crook. Right. What we're after is that bullion you got stored here. Don't waste time trying to tell us there ain't none because we know better. It's in that safe right behind you. Now get it out. You blast And keep your mouth closed. The law will get you for this. You can't rob the stage line and get away with it. Come on, open that safe. Hey, quick. All right. All right. And remember, we're watching every second. You make the mistake of trying to... What was that? Church, Mister, you get that gold and get it in a hurry. We're clearing out of here. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. While the crowd cheered wildly, Sam Bauer stuck to the saddle of Palmer's horse. <laughs> Same shots that Palmer's Confederates heard in town could be heard out on the flat. At the sound, the masked man shouted, That's Toto! Can you grab the whole Sam? I'm his boss and he knows it! And ride for town! Follow me! Get up there, fella! Get up! Come on, Silver! Come on! Hey, come back here! Sheriff, they're stealing my horse! Take after them! Get to your horses, men! Hurry up! Get to your horses! We're bringing them fellas back! Oh, All right, they're sir. ready, fella! Yep! <laughs> With the sheriff and Palmer in the lead, the angry townspeople, thinking they had been tricked, followed in pursuit of the masked man and his companion. 
They thundered into town and down the main street toward the stage office. But as they kept the masked man in sight, they saw something that surprised them. The Lone Ranger and Sam were joined by an Indian, and the three raced on until they overtook two madly spurring strangers. Then they heard the sound of firing. Look at that, Sam! What in thunder's going on? Fight of some kind. They made them other two fellas stop. Come on, now's your chance. We'll catch up to them before they can get started again. It don't look to me as though they're even trying to get away. Looks just as though they was waiting for us. Holding guns on them first two gents besides. What in blazes is this all about? We'll soon soon find out. Stay where you are. We got you. You try to get away and we let you have it. We're waiting for you, Sheriff. Rain up, fellas. And keep these zombies covered. Oh, 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 oh. You're under arrest. These are the men you want to arrest, Sheriff. They just held up and robbed the office of the stage company. You'll find the gold bullion they stole in their saddlebags. Such a... But look here, stranger. Count of here fired those shots you heard a few minutes back. Those shots were a signal we've been waiting for. It meant these fellows were carrying out the holdup they had planned. Palmer, one move and I fire. You can't... Hey, what are you picking on him for? He's here? the man who planned the holdup. Why, oh, you load out coyote. Quiet. Sheriff, we knew there'd be a holdup. Because everywhere Palmer promoted one of these riding contests... There was a holdup in town at the same time. If you doubt that, I'll give you the names of half a dozen towns where you can check. And in each one of those towns, Palmer went by a different name. That's not so. Don't believe a word he's saying. He's just trying to trick you. No I... game's up, Palmer. These fellas don't talk. It won't take the sheriff long to investigate and learn the truth. Stay right where you are, Palmer. I reckon we can get at the truth right now. You fellas. For what? You're caught dead to rights. Now, do you want to tell the truth about this? Or you want me to turn you over to these fellows here to deal with you any way they want? We ought to string them up. The oh, Lincoln party is just what they got coming. No, no, you yeah, can't have yeah, you. You've got to give us a trial. It was Palmer playing the sheriff. We was working with him. Give us a fair trial and we'll testify to the whole thing. You dirty squealer! Hold on to him, man. I got him. If he makes a break for it, I'll drill him. Take him over to the caliboose and lock him up. Oh, 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 There's something else, too, oh, Sheriff. Oh, what's that? Sam here has told me his story. He hasn't been able to get work because no one would let him prove he could handle a real job. I think after the ride he gave Palmer's horse today, he proved plenty. Besides winning your bets for you. That was as fine a piece of riding, mister, as I ever seen. Do, do you think maybe somebody would give me a job, Sheriff? I, I'd work real hard. You got a job, Sam, with me. You're hired right now. Get your horse and saddle and come out to my place. But, but I ain't got a horse. I had to sell it a while back. You ain't got a horse? What's the matter with the one you're riding? But this belongs to Palmer. And where he'll be from now on, he won't have no more use for a horse than I'd have for a plug hat. Damn, that horse is yours. And I'm apologizing for the things I said to you yesterday in town. Oh, gosh. Just heard as a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.